Awareness against mass crimes and genocide, a denialist regime is a potential a regime that potentially can repeat these past crimes. So this is such a crucial issue, and my argument is they don't know that. They are not aware the importance of the acknowledgement of historic wrongdoing, mainly among other things because of, I'm sorry to use this term, stupid American foreign policy, stupid European foreign policy, because they think, oh, we should not get Turkey angry. He's a, such a good guy, and we need it, you know? Armenians, yeah, yeah, we know you are, you passed through the crimes in the past, but Turkey is a strong country. So they don't make Turkey clear how important acknowledgement of historic wrongdoing for their own interest. So what I'm saying is a totally different issue here. It is the Turks, it is the, I'm talking in interest of Turks, not in interest of Armenians, in interest of others. It is interest of Turks to acknowledge this. I mean, Turks need the acknowledgement of Armenian genocide maybe more than other individuals, because this is for their own future more important than anything else. And secondly, I move the other question. Even though I formulated all this issue as a security problem, re real uh, politic, and so on, at the end, of course, it's a moral problem. So, uh, of course, facing history is a deep. It goes in the human rights, and it is, uh, in that sense, a moral argument. And it has something to do, in that sense, with the compensation also. Compensation, as such, is also a moral state. Because of very simple rule, you cannot give it back what was lost. You cannot bring it back. It is gone. Whatever you offer for this historic wrongdoing in the past has a symbolic nature. Even the money, even anything else that you formulate, it is only a gesture for Armenians that gives the feeling to Armenians, yes, Turks understood our pain. So this is the beginning. So in conflict resolution, we have a rule. We say that if you want to solve a problem in the past, you have to win the heart of both sides. This means Turks and Armenians come to a satisfaction saying that you have to create the satisfaction of Armenians as a society, as a whole. There will be some, they won't be agreed, and so on. But majority of, my goal is that the majority of Armenians should get the feeling, yes, I got what I wanted. This is the sentence I want to hear. And this sentence can be heard under certain circumstances. And for this, Turks and Armenians should talk to each other, discuss with each other how these injustices should be rectified. And there are so many ways of doing it. It could be a sum of money. It could be really free entrance to Trabzon port, export and import. It could be giving back the citizenship to Armenians. It could be the giving back the entire churches and other important buildings in Anatolia to Armenians. If they society, both societies start talking to each other how we can rectify these historic wrongdoings, they will find their ways. So. I'm not here to say this is the price of compensation. This should be, should be done, should be done. It is not necessary. For me, the important thing is the rule. Both countries really get an agreement or people that they solve this bad historic injustice problem in the past. If you want to see a list of the demands, read Harut Sasunyan's last column. He made a six, seven point what should be done in order to talk with Turks. I think it's a good list. I agree with his list. He made a list of the factors that should be really a topic of uh, conversation between Turks and Armenians. So it could be, why not? I mean, it's a good list, actually, good start. Other questions? Yes, one, two. Okay, then I have one. 